Hello everyone, welcome to the Economy Weekend, brought to you by Business Day in partnership with the Movement Studio. My name is Wasiu Ali. And I am Eniola Olatinji. Um, there are quite a number of interesting reports and data coming your way this week. Um, to start with, the Stambik IBTC will be releasing, what well, has released yeah, the released Nigeria's Purchasing Managers Index report today. And of course, um, some of the interesting things in that report is, is that um, the PMI shows the business, the level of business activity in the country yeah. on a monthly basis. And for June, the Nigeria's Purchasing Manager Index uh, fell to a seven month low of 50.1. Wow, so so that is really surprising. It's really because, because um, last month it was 52.1. 52.1 yeah. and we're celebrating all so yeah, i would um, expect that we would even seek for the higher so the purchasing managers index is just such that figures higher than 50 reflects that business activities is, are is low great mm-hmm. uh, yeah it's great yeah yeah then figures lower than 50 show that business deterioration. Activity, deterioration in business activities activity, yeah. so a decline is quite surprising for me because we saw the naira stabilize in June, but let's let's not forget that the naira is not the only um, yeah, it's not the only, only factor, factor yeah. that affects uh, uh, business to the activity. Report, yeah. Uh, so what was the reason? One of the, the reasons. Decline? One of the reasons uh, for the decline is the inflationary pressure because inflation, uh, yeah, is, still inflation high, is still high despite month on month decline. Decline. I mean, it's like thirty three point nine five right now. Yeah. So and that is high. It's high. Mm-hmm. It's high. So um. um the the PMI also you know surveys about 400 companies ranging from the manufacturing wow. to the construction and all of this. So essentially, private sectors are um, the focus of PMI. So uh, well, let's hope that uh, business Next activities month. is better this month. Happy new month, month yeah, by the way. Yeah, happy new month. Yeah. So um, this week on Thursday, Fitzin Healthcare Pharmaceutical will be holding its 25th annual general meeting. Wow. I yeah. think many of these um, firms are holding PGM now. Yeah, so this usually happen like after they release their full year. Most people are held there as a me. But anyways, in this meeting, and it will be holding at Balmoral in Lagos oh, okay. on Thursday by 10, 10 a.m. And some of the discussions at the AGM would be, so the company is seeking, will be seeking approval to raise 20 billion naira. That's a lot. Yeah. It is, it is. We've seen other companies, um, mostly banks, try to raise um, money <laughs> because know, for, of the... For banks, they have a mandate. They have a mandate, <laughs> yeah, because of the recapitalization process. Yeah. But this, the company is raising its own for its own reasons and will be seeking its shareholders' approval or bringing it up during the AGM. And it said it will be raising it through any means um, they decide either rights issue, public offers, or any of those means. Another thing that will be up for discussion will be the approval of dividend payments. They will be paying 60 copper for every 50 copper shares, and they intend to pay 1.36 billion naira in shares. That will be amongst the several things they will be discussing. So look out for our story by Thursday, okay, talking we'll about the results yeah, of the, the AGM. Fast forward to Friday, the FAO, that is the Food and Agricultural Organization, will be releasing the Global Food Report for the month of June. Now, I think any there, there have been a, a, a quite of um, a a sharp in the prices of food, you know, a sharp rise. Honestly, but you, I it's, thought it was a Nigerian thing, but so it, is it is global. So in May. Um, global food prices increased for the third month consecutively, and this was driven by increase in prices of cereal and dairy products. Although there was a drop in the prices of sugar and oil, but that drop could not did not equate to. I mean, the, the, the drop did the, not. Yes, it did not says. compensate for the increase. Mm-hmm. Like the increase was so sharp that the drop didn't even reflect in the overall so price. At which, yes, it outweighed. Yeah, that's the perfect word to use. So we saw a zero point nine percent increase from what it was in April to what it, to what the index, the index that monitors these prices, went um, increased to one twenty point four 
points and that's high and what's the, what's the cost of the increase in cereals mm. so currently there's very unfavorable conditions crop conditions, crop conditions for cereals and it's actually affecting the yields the amount of cereals that's produced in regions like the black sea north america and europe so um and i think um this this problem affecting them there has the way of um, impacting, impacting us. us. Yes, currently in Nigeria, so, our front page story today is talking about how food um, prices, prices are skyrocketing and what are the factors of this skyrocketing food prices. We have um, um, insecurity, insecurity, climate, climate um, conditions, conditions and even um, high input costs. So if food prices are very high on our side and get to, exp to import food, is high again. High. We are really in big and trouble. We are, we, we are in the era of narrow narrow volatility. volatility. So, like, so it's a lot. It's a lot for the country it's right country. now. Well, there's, there's just hope that things will get better. Yes, so that's good. All right, moving happening. away from FAO, let's now look at US unemployment data. <laughs> the US unemployment data has been on the rise. Yeah. It has been increasing. It was uh, three point nine zero, just three point nine percent in April. In April. It moved to 4.0% in, in May. And many analysts are even predicting that it might, might even rise to 4.1% to June. Yeah. So, uh, and of course, uh, unemployment, when unemployment um, is on it the rise really, like that. Yes, it's a very it's, significant report that the Fed, which is like um, the US CBN yes. look forward to so they look forward to like their GDP data, their inflation data, and the unemployment data. And in May, inflation data did well. So like for the unemployment, if the unemployment doesn't do well, it will give them mixed signal on whether, whether to, to cut, cut rates, rates or not. Or not yeah. But they are rates cut expectation by September. So, so and a rate cut, a rate cut uh, is is in, a, our in our favor. Yeah. Our favor. Yeah. Well, so let's look at what Nera has been. Doing. Was you, I knew that Nera. last week when we were happy about the stability of the Naira, yeah, yeah. we shouldn't have been so excited. Yeah. Even even Kado still came out of Bloomberg and was like, oh, oh we've seen the worst. The, the end of Naira <laughs> yes. volatility has oh, come, has come, come back to the market. Markets. All of this. But immediately after those expression <laughs> of confidence. Those, I'm telling you. <laughs> the, the Naira just... Just went up again. Depreciated again. Depreciated again. Now, the Naira is at 1,500 yeah, to 510 like Naira on the official market. Well, this is not a sharp peak like we've yes, experienced in the fair. past. Yeah, so, yeah. maybe truly we're, we're away from the danger zone, like um, the and, CBN and, governor said. And, and I think um, I think the, the way the Naira has been moderating for the past Month, weeks now, yeah. the past now is, uh, you know, Probably suggesting that oh maybe it has reached its price um, discovery. Yes, um, yes. Stage. Because even Fitch uh, had predicted that by the end of the year the naira should stabilize at a thousand four hundred fifty naira mm. per dollar, and it's not too far from where we are. So I feel like we are at that. That's that's stage, that's, its, its that's stability. Stability. Stage. And honestly, we do not mind. I don't think people mind. Businesses mind where it is at right now. As long as it remains that around it's that it's that stable, moderation. you can plan around it. Mm -hmm. That moderation is what is very key now. Honestly, we can only continue to hope that yes. in era we can only hope stay continues to stabilize, and uh, that will be the end of the show yeah. today. Yeah. Um, for more insights on our stories, you can visit our website at www.businessday.ng, and you can also follow us on our social media platforms at Business Day ng my name remains in your law and i am wasi ali see you again next week bye bye for more in-depth analysis please read up on our website at www.businessday.ng